Hello Primary 3, I thought I would take advantage of a sunny day in the garden to read to you one of our Reading Spine books, which I'm hoping that we can use this term for our literacy work. I have taken pictures of every page and put them together as a PowerPoint so that you can read the story yourself. Um, I thought I'd read it to you as well. So it's called Meerkat Mail and it's written by Emily Gravitt. Enjoy. Turn the page. Sunny lives in the Kalahari Desert. It's very dry and very hot. Sometimes Sunny thinks it is too hot. Sunny comes from a large family. They work together, play together, eat together, learn together and sleep together. Remember, a meerkat alone is on its own. Stay safe, stay together and stay away from jackals. In fact, they do everything together. They are very close. Sometimes Sunny thinks they are too close. Sometimes Sunny wishes that he could live somewhere else. So he packs up his suitcase and he writes his family a note. Dear everyone, I'm off to find somewhere perfect to live. Don't worry mum, I'll be staying with our mongoose relatives, so we'll be quite safe. Love from Sunny. P.S. I promise to write. On Monday, Sunny visits his Uncle Tom. Uncle... Uncle Bob. Sorry. Uncle Bob's family make him very welcome, but Sunny just doesn't fit in. To mum and dad, it's a lot like being at home here, except that I am the biggest. Hooray! The weather is sunny and the food is fantastic. Lots of scorpions, yum. Best thing is no one has to keep lookout because there's this bird which goes squawk when there's danger. I told Uncle Bob our family motto is stay safe, stay together. He told me there's his run and hide from Sunny. So on Tuesday, Sunny goes to stay with his cousins, Scratch and Mitch and the rest of their family. Sunny's getting itchy feet. He decides it's time to move on. Dear mum and dad, we have been living in an old termite mound, but we're moving. There is plenty to eat. Yours ticklishly, Sunny. On Wednesday, he arrives at his cousin Edward's. Sunny is not at all sure the eggs totally agree with him. Hello from the farm. Dear mum, dad, granddad and grandma, I'm staying on a farm. Ed's favourite food is chicken. I haven't tried it yet, but I've had plenty of eggs. Tell Mikey there's not as good as scorpions. Love from Sunny. On Thursday, he heads off to stay with his cousins, Mildred and Frank. Sunny hates getting wet, so he decides to leave. Dear mum, dad and everyone, it's raining quite hard. Hope the weather is better at home. Lots of love from Rainy. P.S. Great Aunt Maureen was right. I should have packed an umbrella. By Friday evening, Sunny has reached Madagascar. Sunny's afraid of the dark. He can't think of anything worse. Dear all, arrived at Auntie B's and Uncle Rob's. It's very late and very dark. I think my I may have been past my bedtime. Aunt B and Uncle Rob don't seem to have noticed. I'm leaving as soon as it gets light. Yawn faithfully. Wish you were here, Sunny. Until on Saturday, he arrives at Great Aunt Flo's. Sonny's beginning to worry that nowhere is right for him. Dearest family, 
Great Aunt Flo lives on her own, in a marsh. It's dark and wet. The food is disgusting, slimy, and I am lonely, cold and tired. I really, really, really wish you were here, or that I was not. All my love, kisses and snuggles. Soggy Sunny. But then on Sunday, Sunny arrives somewhere very dry and very hot, where everyone is very close. I'm home! <gasps> and it is perfect. Welcome home. Stay safe. Stay together.